Here I have Asus Zenfone Live and let me show you how to bypass a Google verification on the following phone. So let me show you how to remove the factory reset protection. As you can see after the hardest operation you have to go through the initializing setup process and at some point of this operation you should input your Google's credentials. And let me show you how to bypass this step. You can't tap next or skip. So let's activate your keyboard. Let's choose more key right here and choose languages. Tap language settings, choose more key right here, the add button and terms of service just pops up in front of you. Let's highlight the random word, choose more key and tap web search. As you can see now we can use a Google searcher. So let's type in the following word, Chrome. Let's tap the Chrome app. Let's choose accept and continue and no thanks. As you can see now you can use a Chrome. So let's use the Chrome searcher and let's type in a test DPC. Tap go. Let me change my results to English. And you have to tap test DPC 2.0.6, the first link. Let's scroll down and right here you should choose download AP key, that button right here. Scroll down again. If nothing happens, let's reload the page. Wait a few seconds. Choose update permissions. Tap allow Chrome to access photos, media and files on your device. Tap OK to the following warning. Choose open. And here you should find your application. Let's tap it. Install blocked, but let's choose settings. Scroll down and let's enable unknown sources. Let's tap OK. Let me go back and press this application one more time. Tap install. Test DBC is installing. Choose accept. Tap open. Now select setup device owner right here and choose setup. You should select encrypt. And now we have to charge your battery and plug in your charger. So let me charge my battery. Let me do it. Let me connect my device. Let's just wait for a while until the device will be ready to encrypt. When the battery is charged to the 80% you can choose encrypt device so let me do it. Tap encrypt device twice. As you can see I've got my device connected still to my charger and let's wait until the operation will be finished. Excellent, the welcome panel just pops up, so let's remove your device from the charger and let's go through the initializing setup process, let's tap next, let's choose next, tap next again, the device connected to a Wi-Fi, tap ne next a couple of times, tap agree, the 
phone is checking connection. As you can see the setup your device screen pops up, let's choose setup, tab ok. The device is setting the device owner. Tap set up phone, choose skip, tap finish. As you can see now you can use your device, but the phone has a lot of restrictions. So all you have to do is find and select the settings. Let me tap OK. Let's tap settings. Then let me scroll down to personal tab and let's choose backup and reset. Afterwards let's select factory data reset and tab reset device. Let's type in the following code. Tab erase everything and wait until the phone will erase all personal data including the factory reset protection. So let's wait a couple of minutes. Excellent, the welcome panel pops up again on the screen. So let's tap next and let's go through the initializing setup one more time. Let me just simply tap next a couple of times. Let me skip all the settings. Let me choose no thanks to protecting my device. Let me don't register my product right now. Setup complete. So that's it. As you can see now the home screen is loading. So you just activate your device without a Google protection. Now let me also tap settings. And let me just check if the device has some Google account added. Let's scroll down. Let's choose accounts. As you can see there is no account, so it means that you just successfully erased the factory reset protection. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.